it's really tough right now. Jason Hernandez has lived here at the Lantern Park condos for less than a month. This morning, one of his nightmares came to life. I start crying. I don't know what to do, you know, like this is like our worst fear. Just after 9.15 a.m., firefighters got called to 145 Lantern Park Drive. Oh, my God. By the time they got there, the fire was spreading quickly. See, we have seven units that are damaged, uh, two that are completely gutted, and uh, three others with extensive fire damage. More than 20 people lost their homes and are being helped by the Red Cross. Everyone made it out alive, and so did their pets. I for sure. 11 year old Shiva was stuck in a burning home for several minutes before she was saved by firefighters and turns out probably her owner too. I was fortunate the dog was in a pen, was in a cage and there was a blanket over it which probably protected the dog. As first responders worked to save lives, so did neighbors in the complex. My adrenaline kicked in and my first thing was because you know I was in a fire myself, my, it was just go. Do what you can, do what you got to do, just go. Jaslyn Plaza survived a house fire years ago. Looking at this now is painful. I feel bad for everyone that's involved, and I just want them to know, like, the community the community is going to help. Naugatuck's good for helping. Something they will need as they try to move forward. Try to climb three steps, you know, two steps, and you get down, knocked down five steps, you know, and it's not fair, but I'm glad to be alive and my family to be alive and everybody else as well. Now back out here live at the scene, as you can tell, it's still very active here. We still have firefighters on scene as well as people who are still coming just to assess the damage and take a look at their homes. As for the cause of the fire, well, that's still under investigation at this point, and it may be weeks or even months until we figure that out. Once again, one firefighter was injured. We're told they were sent to the hospital with back injuries, but we're not told how severe those injuries were but everyone made it out safely, and so did their pets. We're live here in Naugatuck. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.